Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about this coin right here in the center. It is the 1971 Kennedy half dollar. Very nice coin right here. This is one that a lot of people will come across because of the high mintage of the coin. And unfortunately, it does not have any silver in it. But there are a couple of error coins that we'll talk about later, which could really increase the value of your coin. So the Kennedy half dollars are known for having silver in them from 1964 up until 1970. In fact, the 1964 had 90% silver, then 40% silver from 1965 up until 1970. And then the first year they took the silver out was 1971. And they really increased the mintages that particular year because they were uh, much less expensive to make, so they could really crank out a lot of them and get the demand uh, back to where, get the supply back to where the demand was for the quarters. There are 155 million of these that were made at the Philadelphia Mint, so those will not have a mint mark on them. And there are 302 million that were made at the Denver Mint, which will have that D mint mark on them, because uh, that will impact the mintage. There's about twice the mintage at the Denver Mint, so twice as many were produced at the Denver Mint compared to the Philadelphia Mint. When we flip it over on the reverse, we kind of see the standard design right here. The designer's initials will be right there. Check if yours is missing the designer's initials, that could be an error coin, but there are none associated for that particular error variety with the 1971 that have been documented. Now, as far as the value of these coins go, at a mint state 63, these are going to be worth $3. So that's obviously six times the face value of the coin. However, that isn't anything compared to the other Kennedy half dollars which came before it. But if we go to a mint state 63 for the 1965, that's going to be worth $6. That's because, uh, like we said earlier, the 1964 to 1970, I've got some of those coins which I'll show you right here. Those are the... Uh, excuse me, 90% silver for 1964, and then 40% silver uh, for 1965 up until 1970. Now, as far as the error coins that are associated with the 1971, there are a couple of error coins that are listed in the Cherry Pickers Guide related to the proof coins, but we'll skip over those. Uh, most of you probably don't have a proof coin in front of you. You most likely have one of these Denver Mint coins that I've got right here just because of the really high mintage. So the first documented error coin associated with the 1971 is the doubled die obverse. Uh, now you want to focus in, the point of focus is on the God we trust part. So we'll focus in on the we trust right there. Now this error is described as very strong doubling is evident on Liberty, the 71 of the date in the God we trust. So, um, Let's take a look here, see if we see any doubling. Unfortunately, uh, we don't see any doubling here. So look for very strong doubling is evident on the Liberty, the 71 of the date, and the God we trust. So the doubling that occurs when the die strikes, uh, hits, the, hits the coin and then sometimes skips or bounces or shakes a little bit or restrikes it and that will come up um, as a doubled die. Now this variety can also be found in mint sets. So the price of this at a mint state 63 for the double die obverse, that is going to be worth $25. So that's quite a lot higher than the $3 that we mentioned earlier for the regular coin. Now in 1971, there's also a double die obverse, which is kind of a slightly different variety, but doubling is evident for that one on the In God We Trust, the date and the liberty in the lower portion of IN uh, at least has a triple die. Wow. So um, there's another variety where there's doubling that occurs and there's some tripling. So there's tripling of the die striking that occurs on the IN on the uh, In God We Trust right here. Now that's going to be worth $25 at a mint state 63, $50 at a mint state 65, and then there are none that are documented at Mint State 66 or 67 for that particular error. 
All right, let's talk about some of the other coins you might have in front of you. So we talked about the 1971 Kennedy half dollar. We've got some other Kennedy half dollars we can run through quickly. This is the 1965. What makes this one special right here is the metal content of the coin. So at today's silver prices, this right here being 11.5 grams, 40% silver, 60% copper, this right here is going to have a melt value to it of $3.46 just based on the metal content of the coin alone. However, it will be worth more to coin collectors than just melting it down for pure silver. Uh, the metal, the coin collecting value of the coin at a mid state 60 is going to be worth $10, $12 for a 63, $35 for a 65 in the proof 65 that will be worth $20. Prior to the Kennedy half dollar, we had the Ben Franklin half dollar right here. <clears throat> this one right here is a 1961. The Franklin half dollars were made from 1948 to 1963. Unfortunately, there wasn't uh, very long of a run for these, for these uh, Ben Franklin half dollars. Uh, that was due to the Kennedy assassination. They decided to put him on the coin starting in 1964. So these uh, Franklin half dollars made from 1948 to 1963, very nice looking coin. And prior to that was the Walking Liberty coins, which, we, which we've got right here. And I've got a 1941 and a 1943. So these had quite a long run to them, uh, made from 1916 until 1947. Now the value of these coins, let me just pull up the value for, for you right from the red book. For the 1941, these were made um, at the Philadelphia Mint, the Denver Mint, and the San Francisco Mint. For the Philadelphia Mint 1941, oh wow, all the way back to a G4, so a good four. Those are going to be worth $10. And then once you get up into the uh, Mint State, those are going to start at $20. At a, um, excuse me, at a AU50, those will be worth $22. And then at a Mint State, 60 those will be worth $35 for the Philadelphia Mint Walking Liberty 1941 coin. So these ones have quite a lot more value to them just just based on their rarity and uh, their coin collecting ability. So very cool coins right here with the Walking Liberty. I've done some uh, longer videos on these which you might want to check out if these coins are of interest to you. All right, everyone enjoy and best of luck coin collecting out there. Take care.